Hello everyone, my name is Lucas and welcome to our fourth lesson of creating databases with Unity and XAMPP. In the last lesson we learned how to take data from the database and show it, display it here on Unity. So we're going to be creating a user and putting it into our database so we can have users create their account. Let's begin by going to our local host so I'm gonna do it so you guys can follow. We're going to localhost PHP my admin and we have the cool YT RPG database that we created. And before we already created a table called items. So we're going to create a new table called users and we're going to have five columns. So first of all, just like with the items, we need an ID and uh, we're going to set auto increment because every time we add a new one, we want it to increase by one. So we leave it in int and the length and the values 10. We also need a username. So for this, we need to use a bar char and the username, maybe we can set it to a maximum length of 40, 40 characters. We can also, we also need a email uh, chart and an email is around I think also 40 characters we also need a password so the player can log in um, ID username email password we're going to get rid of this column so we just need four columns ID username email and password so we're going to save this and if we didn't enter anything it looks like nothing came out so we're fine with that so we have ID username and password great we're done with that so what we want is that from unity we can fill this table with information because if we browse it now is it's empty zero rows so we need to create an PHP file and then from unity a C sharp file to handle that so I'm going to my cool YT RPG folder that we created long ago and we're going to use notepad plus plus to edit our items data PHP and we're going to create a new file and I'm going to save this file as insert user.php and actually actually we don't type PHP we just can find it here PHP hypertext preprocessor file and insert user now what we want to do is copy everything from items data and we're going to paste it in insert user.php because we're going to be using all these variables for the connection as well as doing this connection and sending a query. So first of all, we don't need this because we're not going to show the data for each row now. We're not reading, now we want to write. So we delete that first of all, and also we want to add some new variables. And if we go to, a, to our database and we see the user's structure, we see that we have ID, username, email, password. The ID is increment by itself, so we don't need that, but we need a username, an email, and a password. And I just realized here, this is an integer, but actually it should be a voucher as well. So we can change that. I think we need to change it and we can edit this instead of the type, instead of being integer, we need to use bar char, okay? and maybe we send the value to 15 okay so we changed that okay now we can continue um, so as I said we need a username an email and a password so I'm going to create few variables a username but there's a problem we already have a username here okay so we don't want to have uh, to have these two things having conflict so we're just going to add the server suffix before username so we just know is the server username and the server password because here we're going to have a username we're going to have a email and we're going to have a password as well so we add the server word just before password just to to recognize we're talking about the server username and we're talking about the player's username okay now we're going to be doing some testing so I'm just going to set it to a normal variable a string type variable I'm going to set this to 
Lucas test AC and the email I'm going to set it to test oops test email and the password I'm just going to send it to the most safe password on earth uh, like that and okay so that is for testing later we're going to change this but just follow with me for now we need to make the query and this query here is actually selecting ID name type cost from items now we don't want to select something we want to insert something and instead of selecting from items we're going to be inserting into somewhere and there's a website double three schools now this website does not sponsor me but I find it quite useful so I'm going to use their documentation so you can see some examples here so what we need is actually this insert into the table and then we can specify which columns we want to insert which values which is very useful so I'm going to copy this example here I'm going to copy this example and paste it on top of my old, um, my old query that we use for the items so and remember that this should be a string so we put the double quotes around the string so we want to insert into customers now we don't have a customers table but we do have a users table which we created here this is the users table right so we have that we want to insert into users and now we have these are the columns names so we have we don't have a customer name we have a username okay here username we don't have a contact name we have an email and finally we have a password and everything else can be deleted okay so these are the columns that we want to insert the values and the values will be so we want to use the Lucas test account but we want to use variables because we're going to make it dynamic right so I'm going to finish the string there concatenate with a dot and delete that so actually I'm going to delete all of those to begin with so I'm going to do this remember this this is the concatenation and here I'm going to place my username variable okay and I'm going to do the same once more here for the email and I'm going to add a comma and call a uh, quote dot dot like that and I'm going to add the password variable right there so we're going to insert the username the email and the password into our respective columns in the table from our database and now I think we can maybe we could check for, for some errors so if no result if this failed for some reason we're going to echo uh, there was an error else echo everything okay so everything is okay if if there is a problem with the result echo there was an error otherwise reject echo everything okay now we saved this in the cool YT RPG. So now um, we want to open a new tab and we're going to type localhost slash cool underscore YT underscore RPG and slash insert user dot PHP. And this should run this script and insert these variables into our our empty table okay so let's try it and oh my god access denied to Lucas test do 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 okay so our problem is that 
I was reading the error here. The access was denied for Lucas test account at localhost because we changed the variable name here. But if you see, we actually are using the username for the connection. We need to replace that variable into this username and the server password into that password there because we're using these variables. So I'm going to make a comment here variables for the connection. Okay, so I'm, I'm sorry, it was my silly mistake. I was telling you to pay a lot of attention to that, to this, but I didn't pay enough attention myself. So I'm sorry. So anyway, now we should be able to run this with no problem. So let's try that again. Refresh use of undefined constant result. Everything okay. So this is just a notice. Okay, everything okay. Let's go check our table. And we have, yes, we have a new username, Lucas test account. The ID is because I tried this before and I fill it uh, with two rows, but now if this should increase by itself every time we add a new one. So if I refresh this one more time, now we should have one more row and it should be four. Yeah, it's working, it's auto incrementing. Lucas test account, the email is test email, password is the safest password on earth. So, I'm really happy now with this result. Unfortunately, we run out of time. So this is the PHP part for writing data into our, our database. And on the next episode, we're going to make a C sharp script that gets the user input and post it to our PHP file and then use uh, put it back on our database. Uh, I'm going to try to upload that video as soon as possible, I promise. And I again, again, I want to thank everyone for your support. And please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share my videos to your friends. That really means a lot and helps me a lot. So thank you a lot, guys, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.